Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Mark with Kurt Bjorklund. After the story about Jesus healing the paralyzed man, we see Jesus calling Levi and eating with sinners in verses 13 through 17. Here's what it says. Once again, Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him and he began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at a tax collector's booth. This is Matthew, Matthew's gospel, Levi, before he had a new name. Follow me, Jesus told him. And Levi got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. And when the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. You see, Pharisees, moralists, people who uh, want to be religious, would rather categorize people than relate to them. They would rather say there's tax collectors and sinners. There's those kinds of people. And Jesus breaks through the norm and says, I will eat with sinners. I have come to call the righteous, not sinners. Now, this can lead to a debate about what the church should be. I've had this conversation with many people who say church should be about instructing the believers to go out into the world But I would argue that if your church doesn't look like drawing the people that Jesus draws, then you aren't teaching the message of Jesus. You aren't living with the message of Jesus. Meaning there will be and should be people in your midst who don't believe just like you, don't live just like you. And I realize, again, that's unnerving for some people. What they want is to be only in a group where everyone thinks like they do, everyone acts like they do. But Jesus ate with sinners. Now, again, you can say that wasn't the church, and that's a fair assessment here. But Jesus' mission was saying, I want to be with people who are far from God. It is the sick who need a doctor, not the well. And so many times what religious belief system does is it leads us to want to exclude people who don't believe like us, don't vote like us, don't think like us, don't act like us in order to make ourselves feel better about our morality rather than putting ourselves in a place where we're saying we will have a party. And I love how how Matthew, uh, as he came to follow Jesus, tax collector, hated man, invited people. And we know from the parallels that he did it at his house and people came and had dinner in order to meet Jesus. And so here, here's what you see in the start of Mark chapter two. Friends who were willing to say, we will do whatever we can to get our friend lowered to Jesus. We have a conviction. Then Matthew comes to follow Jesus. And the first thing he does is he says, I'm throwing a party. I'm inviting my friends. I want people to come. And it's the Pharisees who struggle with it in both instances. One, they say, and it's not technically the Pharisees, it's the scribes. But in the first section, the the ones who object to the forgiveness, how can you forgive sins? You should have a higher standard. And it's the Pharisees who say, how can you eat with sinners? You you should be pure in your approach rather than somebody who says it is Jesus who came to seek and to save the lost. You know, it's easy sometimes, I think, as somebody who's been a Christian now for a long time to simply get in a routine of wanting to be with people who reinforce what it is that I already think and believe. But one of the best things that I can do, you can do to live our faith in reality is to not just deal with quote unquote, those people out there, but to have them in our lives. Eating with people involves having them in our lives. Now, again, I'm not saying that church should not have membership standards and some of those kinds of things. But what I'm saying is, is there should be a sense in which there's mission and there is a time 
when you are having people who are coming in and checking out what you're doing because they've seen the change, like Levi Matthew's friends saw? Who is it that you're eating with and choosing to love rather than categorizing and questioning? And are you allowing your attempts to say, I want purity to keep you from seeing the heart of Jesus for people and even people who are trying to live the mission of Jesus? Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.